I've known the fantastic Music for Youth organisation for a few years. I've been doing smaller projects with them. They approached me about doing something, them doing a big project um, for the Albert Hall. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. Brilliant. Don't be, don't be distracted by the fact they've got extra notes in where you don't have them. We had a choice of coming here and playing our instruments or singing and the, to do a project with other schools and in the end outcome would be to play at Royal Albert Hall. We've had um, really intense rehearsals for about 10 days. We were in Bradford doing workshops in all of the schools, all of the music services, orchestra rehearsals, visiting all the groups individually. And then from last Saturday onwards we've got big mass rehearsals where we get lots of groups together which kind of add up to almost 300 people some of them so it's quite crazy but it's great. <laughs> it's going good, going well with all the group playing together yeah. I'm enjoying it, it's exciting to see how everyone's playing together in time um, and this is just our first rehearsal yet so we'll bring on the rest of them. Um, it's fun. <laughs> Before thinking of a single note to play, we went around visited people in schools, in recording studios, rehearsal studios, music services, culture, you know, arts centres and met all these different kinds of groups. And uh, I just listened to what they actually do. My area is, is Kirklees um, and in terms of the, the schools there we have um, a mixture of all sorts of different uh, cultural backgrounds um, from um, Afro-Caribbean, Muslim, Sikh, uh, Sort of white um, British as well, so there's a you know a lot of, of rich diversity of music. There's a, an amazing choral tradition as well in Huddersfield and, and the surroundings. So that we have lots and lots of you know choirs, amateur choirs, amateur orchestras. Brass band tradition is also incredibly strong, um, and that's the same around the area in in, um, in Bradford as well. Bradford is really a diverse place, and it's different from other places around the UK. In the piece, that I hope in each kind of scale and rhythm thing that you hear, you can hear little influences of all those different things. So I did sit down and write the music, but it was completely from uh, everything I saw and heard and everything that's th that they wanted to talk about, really. We've got together some of the young people that have been through our programmes. Uh, we, we've done rock schools here, um, so we, we run um, uh, youth programmes as well. We have probably about 65 members in, the, in our youth orchestra, um, but to be part of a group of six, seven, eight hundred is uh, really quite exciting. And the, the best thing about it though is, is the bringing together of all the different styles of music and cultures of musical instrument as well because that's something that I suppose you can get a little bit pigeonholed as either an orchestral player or a doldrum player and to bring all that together I think is, is superb. I think it's brilliant uh, because um, it's, it's not often people get a chance to be a part of something so great and I think it's something that breaks barriers and it also it's, it's all about inclusion and these are the factors nowadays you know people really aspire to and I think it's a, it's, it's a fabulous thing you know to be involved in. With uh, some of the bigger groups the difficulty is you don't get to know them so much on a personal level but you get to know them in another way and uh, with some of the smaller groups especially with the singers I've had a lot of time with them just teaching them the words and getting to know them and there are some real characters in the band which is what it's all about you know it's about letting Letting them express themselves, that's what music should be about anyway. To be honest, they've all been absolutely fantastic, you know, they've really been thrown in the deep end because we've been asking a lot from them just trying to learn tunes by ear which a lot of them have never done before. It's a long way around to do it, it's certainly a very um, time consuming way to do it, to learn everything by ear, but I've tried to keep the parts all memorable and simple enough to remember it, but it's nearly 11 minutes long and all the young people playing it are actually memorising the whole thing, which I think is amazing. And that goes down a tone, so it goes down to an F, which is a D for E flat instruments and a G for B flat instruments. We go two, three, four. When you're working with tabla players, electric guitar players, samba bands, uh, kind of more Western classical orchestras and wind band, there isn't one common way of actually notating things and doing things be between them. So there are lots of reasons for it, but mainly because it is possible and because of the vibe in the end. 
I have written things, I have a little pad that I refer to to make sure it all fits together, but uh, none of them have ever seen a single note of music. Everything's been learnt to by ear, so it's kind of like a big uh, kind of folk session on a really large scale. It's basically just about the new generation and how a lot of the problems that we associate with the younger generation aren't necessarily to do with them and it's more to do with preconceptions in the past and we should just give them a voice and give them a chance. We only got the words the other day and I've like got them, I learned them pretty much and I'm, I'm not one for learning things so yeah it's, it's okay. It's quite hard but when you like get the tune it, it just like it fits together and then it just gets really fun. Just going over them with the tune as well it's been pretty easy to pick up. They've absolutely loved it. They've really got the lyrics on a really deep level, actually. You can see it in their faces, you know, you're trying to explain the words to them and they say, oh, that's really nice. And they, you know, they can really um, associate with what the lyrics are saying, which is, you know, amazing. And I think it really helps with the performance as well. You know, they need to understand what they're singing about in order to give it the right feel. And they have done brilliantly. They've captured all of that. I have a fantastic team uh, that I'm working with here. Tom Chapman, who is a master percussionist, highly trained uh, jazz drummer, but incredible world percussionist. The greatest cajon player. He plays the cajon, the Peruvian box drum. is his speciality. Here he's playing djembe, cowbell, pulling everything together. And he's uh, just an expert in millions of different styles of so-called world music, so really pulling that all together is his job. Then Paloma Trigas, who is a Spanish violin player, who is um, uh, amazing because she can play all kind of folk stuff and classical stuff as if it really sounds like it's in the folk style and in the classical style. She's incredible at that, and she's dealing with a lot of the string players. And also, she also sings in the urban folk style whatever, so she's dealing with the singers of which we have about 70 or 80, I think. So that's her department as well. It's having a fantastic effect. We in Bradford want to offer our youngsters as many opportunities to perform and to work with professional musicians. We've learned a lot, like how we can get inspired from them. It's yeah. really helpful. They've given yeah. a lot of uh, good tips and they're really inspirational as well, so it's been good having them around. Yeah, I think it's testament to the work that Joe's doing and, and the, the whole team, that they are, they're inspiring them, you know, to do something different. They've all been engaged, they've all been smiling, they've all been enthused. They're letting it all go, they're, yeah throwing down at really. they're, they're standing up, they're shaking their heads, they're re really getting into it. They push you to want to do it, yeah. Where my studio is based, it's, it's actually based in the complex for young homeless people. So I, I'm dealing with some very complex things and I was worried about that because it not not every worker from different backgrounds is able to think to deal with that and I, I was really impressed that actually, you know, they're really good with them. The amazing thing is that uh, with each thing that we've done, with each stage that we've got to, um, almost every time the young people have got it quicker than we thought. They've actually quicker than we think they're going to memorise the parts they do. When we come back together again, they've remembered more than we think we're going to do. So my what I come away with from the rehearsal so far is that uh, these young people can do a lot more than perhaps we might think that they that they can. So we're now in the process of pushing them, rewriting little bits as they come up, making things more difficult for them to really try and get the best out of everybody. There's a marked improvement in, in their confidence, I think, most definitely, because at first, of course, they're a bit shy, they don't know everybody, because there's some new people in in the group as well, but they're all, they're all getting on great, and, and, and you can see uh, the buzz building, definitely. Yeah. Any opportunities for children to come together to play en masse is just a fantastic opportunity. Bring it on. <laughs> and I just love this idea of a, of a, of a marriage of sort of rock uh, and, and classical and smashing that together and finding out what you get. It probably sounds, I don't know, it just sounds really good. I've like enjoyed um, hearing it put all together because it sounds really good now. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited for getting to London. In the weeks leading up, we have uh, more mass rehearsals and they get bigger and bigger every time. It's quite funny actually because you say, oh, so we're going to have band and rock. And what that means is instead of 200 people, you get 400 people. <laughs> so it's 
quite a, quite a big group. Um, and they just get bigger and bigger all the time. And then that's it, Royal Albert Hall, here we come. Really exciting, yeah, really, really the really biggest exciting. thing we've all done. Yeah, we've got a lot of work to do in, until then, but yeah, we're really looking forward to the performance, thank you. I'm really excited about the concert, and, uh, but I have the fear as well. I, am, I mean, having, what, I, I don't know what the final count is, about 700 people playing together on stage is not something that happens very often, especially when there's lots of instrumentalists that need to do things that are really in time, you know, together. And having said that I want the vibe of it to be what, something that has great energy about it and communicates really well and that the young people really enjoy it and that the audience enjoys the fact they're enjoying them. To create this atmosphere is the most important thing, but obviously, if it doesn't hang together, and musically, it's no good, it's no good. that'll be rubbish, because everything feeds off from that. So we have many challenges ahead. I'm excited about the concert. And uh, yeah, ask, ask me again, I have to ask me again when it's done. <laughs>